case number two is case of osteomyelitis. Uh, actually, osteomyelitis word when comes in our mind or in modern doctor's mind, they only have seizure in their hand. They don't uh, thought on medicine way. They just have seizure. You should get operated. You should remove that bone because even they don't have any medicine to make the normal bone in osteomyelitis. Simple osteomyelitis means get the operation hundred percent. No other way. We are treating this type of disease with Ayurvedic medicine. So this is the interesting one. So coming to the case, case this case is a radiological evidence of new bone formation. Hear my word, new bone formation in 42 year female patient. There is a radiological evidence, not me or patient saying. Patient came with complaint of severe upper palate swelling, bleeding gums. There was a pus, pus discharge from the swollen gums. Uh, 24 hour false smell from her oral cavity, loosened teeth in the affected part, and heaviness of the face so important thing patient had a history of removal of the teeth before 10 days that we will be seeing in the picture so this is the past history of patient before 10 days she went to the dentist and uh, she removed the teeth after this all the symptoms had started and somebody again referred to me for the treatment in the ayurveda so i have advised them to do the cbdt scan the cbdt this uh, scan see the bone Bony structure of the facial bone to visualize that we advise CBDT scan. In mucor also CBDT scan is the important diagnostic tool. So I have advised them. Uh, you see the blue mark arrow. On uh, one side there is a complete bone is there whitish, and this a uh, blue mark is in the blue circle. There is a whole thing is a uh, black in color. So there is a uh, no bone. Bone is necrosed. And it is osteomyelitis, so there is no bone in that. So due to this, there was a pus discharge, there was a false smell, there was a sinus tract uh, formation because the, all the pus was uh, getting discharged in the oral cavity from this uh, uh, maxillary bone. So that should be a yellow color, but it is a black color. This suggests there is a no bone or bone density is uh, lost. So it means there is a osteom active osteomyelitis or already bone is necrosed. This is the before Ayurvedic treatment CBDT scan. Now we have started the treatment next. So the CBDT scan show that there is an extensive bone loss is starting from 21 progressively distally up to 27. That is six number. Superiorly lesion extend up to the left uh, maxillary sinus and floor of left maxillary sinus appear perforated in the region of 24, 5, 6, and 7. This is the sinus. There was a sinus tract form. Pus was getting discharged from this. Left maxillary sinus appear transulant. There is a root resorption is seen in relation with uh, number twenty four and twenty five. So these are the basic findings. Now the uh, investigator has put a question mark on three diseases. Either she might have carcinoma of the left maxillary sinus, either she might have osteomyelitis, or she might have mucormycosis. So it is a very tough job for us whenever patient come with. These three types of uh, question mark in the diagnostic. Uh, we should uh, think uh, where we should go. It, it is a uh, carcinoma. We should refer to the onco surgeon. It is a mucormycosis or osteomyelitis. Now, as I have treated more than seven to eight hundred cases of mucormycosis, I can judge uh, whether uh, she might have mucormycosis or not. So there was no single reason to label her as a mucormycosis patient. And she was not having any tobacco chewing or family history of cancer, so they too also excluded. I have taken them osteomyelitis only. I told them we will do the 15 days treatment. If you are not getting improved, then only we will go for biopsy. Actually, they, uh, this dentist advised biopsy on the same day when CBDT scan came, and I have discussed case with them. I have asked him, sir, wait for 15 days. Let me give you the treatment. If she is responding, then we will uh, continue. If she don't respond, then only we will do the biopsy. But they they doesn't came. She responded very well. So we have started Ayurvedic treatment, and within 15 days of an Ayurvedic medicine, she started showing very good clinical improvement. And after almost three months of treatment, now she doesn't have any complaints. She is 100% clinically okay. Main thing is her tooth mobility. It was completely restored. Once teeth is uh, teeth mobility occurs in modern science, they they don't have any medicine. They have to extract the tooth or any operation they do. But with 
this medicine, we have restored the mobility of teeth completely. Even in mucormycosis, so many patients we have restored the teeth mobility. This is important. There is no single modern medicine were used during this treatment of this case at any time. Only Ayurvedic medicine used. Not even painkiller, not even single antibiotic. With 100% of Ayurvedic medicine, we have treated this case. So, this is the after uh, three months of treatment, we have again uh, repeat uh, CBDT scan and you can see the new bone formation. You see the blue color uh, circle, in that uh, no bone is there or bone density is uh, reduced. There is a uh, active osteomyelitis or necrosed bone. Now you see the green mark in this photo. See there is a blackish, uh, black area is uh, 60 to 70 percent reduced. We can see the yellow is a uh, new bone is a uh, form. Uh, this is a uh, extraordinary thing. We are not pressing ourselves but uh, we should know what Ayurveda can do. So these are the such a challenging case and uh, we have radiological improvement. We can see clearly in CBT scan that uh, the new bone is getting formed. It means there is a new vascularity grown in the bone. Right? Abhrak Basma I have told you, it improves the blood circulation. So it works here also. If once the blood circulation improves, bone will get uh, proper nourishment and it will uh, regenerate their osteophytes, uh, that it will generate the bone. And we can clearly see in the photo. In there, between you see before treatment, there is a two teeth is uh, removed. So from there, this is has started. Either they have not taken precautionary septic uh, condition or uh, a contaminated instrument they might have used. So this happened. You see the before treatment, gum swallowing is first discharge. The thickness you can see in the photo. A uh, wild treatment, you can see thickness is getting decreased. This wild treatment, again, this uh, reddish swelling is decreased. And latest uh, image you can see, or almost 70 to 80 percent normal oral cavity she got. Uh, which medicine we have used? This Chiddha Balla tak I used. Again here you see Vilvadi Gulika chem. Serenkota and a capsule I have used that contains Balla Taka and cow ghee. Vyadi Haran Dras. Trifala Gugulu, Panchatikta ghee, Khadiradi Vati, Padra Mustadi Churna, Sandhani Mahakashai and Boni Hill Tablet. Sandhani Mahakashai I think it's not available in market. If you read Charak Samhita Sutra Sthana, I think third or fourth chapter, there is a uh, 50 set of 10 herbs is mentioned. Mahakashaya. In that one is Sandhani Mahakashaya. So we have uh, prepared a tablet from the 10 herbs and we use it in the tablet form. All the 10 medicine were not used at the time. It was used in different, different uh, time. Because Shuddha Balata Purna in initial stage we can't give when we have uh, active bleeding. Serenkota also we cannot give when we have active bleeding. Once uh, uh, with Khadiradi Vati bleeding is stopped, then we should for, we shift to the Pallata Kruna. So these are the medicine used in this case, not together, but uh, interval of uh, time, depending on patient's uh, improvement. This uh, thing you all must uh, know before using Pallata Kruna. You should not use in active bleeding. It will further increase the bleeding and sometimes we need to admit the patient due to hypervolemic shock. Quality of Balla Taka, it has Katu Tikta Kashaya Rasa, Lagu Snikta Tikshna Rasa Guna, it has Madhu Vipaka and Ushna Virya. That's why we should not give in active bleeding and it also has Tikshna Guna. It has Swadhu Pak Rasa, this is the fruit or Swadhu Pak Rasa. Lagu, it is live, very light to digest, it is Kashaya Rasa, it helps in digestion, Snikta and Tikshna. It is hot, it has cutting and slicing effect. This is the main reason we should use in our practice. In oral cancer, I used to give Ballatak Suna 2 pinch and rub on that oral lesion, wherever CA is there. So this is the Chedana effect of Ballataka. In mycomycosis also, I, when I have taken uh, this webinar, I have told you, I give the Shuddha Ballatak Suna 2 pinch to rub in the mouth on the lesion. So, slough and uh, dead tissue, everything will be getting cut. But uh, experienced uh, Vedya only should is the means of Balla Tata. Otherwise, uh, we might have some adverse effect. Vedya, it has the purgation effect. Media, Vahanikara, it promotes the digestion. Kafavathara, Vranahara. It also helps in bone healing. Uh, 
uh, useful in skin disease, useful in piles, malabsorption syndrome, gaseous distension, inflammation. You would, it also relieves the bloating, fever, and creamy roga. Again, Vilvadi Gulika. Previously, also we have discussed. Uh, this is a very much uh, important thing. I would like to draw all the student and doctor's attention. Yadi Haran Ras. This is a Pupi Pakwa Rasayana. The reference is Rastantrasar and Chitta Prayog Sangraha, Volume 2, I think, in Rupi Prakwa Rasayana chapter. Okay, so it has a purified mercury, sulfur, arsenic oxide, orpiment, uh, Shuddha Manasila, it has Ras Karpura, it has, and it, it, is, it has to be titulated with uh, fresh aloe vera juice, and it should be given 52 hours of uh, this uh, agni in the Rupi Prakwa. In Ayurveda, we have only one classical formulation which has the indication as Asthivata Visha. That when toxin is located in the bone, in modern translate, simple if we translate, I don't, uh, I haven't found any simple, any formulation which has advice for Asthivata Visha. So Vyadi Arandasa, we have classical indication that it has to be given in the Asthivata Visha. It means toxins lost in the bone or bony tissue. So, Firangaroga, this uh, sexually transmitted disease, gonorrhea, syphilis, deep seated infection, that uh, we should also, we can use. Rakta Vika, uh, then Sanjeevata, osteoarthritis, uh, Rasa Vrana, means ulcer in the nasal, nasal cavity, and uh, Nadi Vrana means sinus ulcer. See, Nadi Vrana, I have told you, there is a track form from the maxillary sinus uh, cavity and from the oral cavity. That is the Nadi, Nadi Vrana. Nasal ulcer, all you can take. Blood disorder also you can take in this case. Deep seated infection also you can take in this case. Asthigas Visha also is. So this all the six uh, is uh, fitting in this uh, case. Trifala Gugulu we all know. When, when there is a weight uh, lesion, uh, perfora means a uh, post discharge in skin lesion. This is uh, in generally we used uh, there. See the classical indication also told Bhagandara, Gulma, Shotha and Arshas. So wherever you find uh, any skin lesion with first discharge, we can use this uh, Trifala Kukulu. But uh, in acute condition, when there is a too much first discharge, we should uh, be aggressive in the dose. I mean, five, five, six, six tablets three times a day we should give to get the effect like uh, antibiotic. Once Tikta Ghi, we all know uh, Tikta Rasa is uh, indicated in uh, Asti Gata Dosha. When we see the Asti Dhatu Gata Roga Tikitsa, Acharya Charaka has given Tikta Rasa Yukta Dravya It contained a uh, five herb which is a Tikta Rasa that is a uh, Patola, Saptachada, uh, Nimba, Vasa and uh, Guruji. Kalpa Dravya is Trifala and uh, Ghi. See Asti Mad uh, Samiram Asti Sandhi Madja Gata. Uh, I have told you when there is a Asti Gata Dosha or Asti Dhatu Gata Vyadi we should use the uh, Panch Tikta Ghi. Also Nadi Vrana, Arbuda, Bhagandara and uh, Gandamala we can use. In skin disease also uh, generally all use, but main indication of Panchitikta Krita is uh, Asthiva Srotas Vyati or Asthigata Vyati. So Gulma, this abdominal distension, hemorrhoid, majority of formulation have same indication. The best we have to choose. <laughs> Gala Vidradi, tumor and abscess in the neck, abscess in the throat. You see Gala Vidradi, second last uh, classical indication. Gala Vidradi. Right, so in this patient you can take gala means oral cavity. So this is the important, we, should, we must uh, read the philosophy of each and every classical formulation. For example, I would uh, say Maharasna Dikvat, Vat Vyadi we use. But if you read the philosophy of uh, this uh, Maharasna Dikvat, there is a Bij, Bij Dosha is written. So when there is a Apan Vayu Dushti, when there is a, a imbalanced Apan Vayu and due to that there is an infertility either in male or female. So I use Maharasna Dikwath in infertility. When we read the falsity of each and N, every classification, we can have a grip, very good grip in the practice. So here we see the Gala Vidradi. Clear cut, they have written Gala Vidradi. So anywhere we have abscess in this uh, Gala Pradesh, either you can take uh, oral cancer, you can take uh, thyroid cancer, you can take necrosis of the trachea means uh, these are the, the disease we get in critical care so there uh, we, uh, we can use so this is the important falasruti we must uh, focus on uh, khadiradi vati again in gulmaro gadikara chapter vaisaj ratnavali you will find khadiradi vati is name goes khadira is the main ingredients kashaya uh, ras pradhan 
right and chandana padmaka ushira is used next hardly i select a patent medicine in any disease treatment a uh, majority of my prescription will be on classical treatment only but this bone heal i use in mucormycosis also where uh, i need to heal the bone and this also i used bone heal tablet right one tablet only or aggressively too much difficulty or too much necrosis or osteomyelitis is there uh, at one bd you can uh, use so bone fracture osteoporosis menopause uh, due to menopause there is a calcium deficiency in ladies uh, uh, to increase bone density we can used important thing uh, here is bhadra mustadi churna the reference is from a basaj ratnavali mukhrok chikitsa under the para of uh, dantarok chikitsa so it has a uh, normal herbs that you can arrange from uh, and you can give to the patient the main indication of uh, mustadi churna to restore the teeth mobility uh, means in uh, book it has written there is a no teeth mobility which cannot be cured by this uh, bhadra mustadi churna it is written in basic ratnavali so wherever you find the loosen teeth where the socket is become loose teeth is uh, movable simple is give bhadra mustadi tablet it is i think available one or two company preparing but i am preparing all the chuna by myself and giving patient for rubbing the bhadra mustadi chuna so this uh, three to four times in this patient i have given them after eating any food he has to rub the whole oral cavity with bhadra mustadi chuna like uh, how we do the toothbrush we have to use uh, this instead of uh, modern thing colgate and pepsodent like that <laughs> we should use this not that colgate <laughs> This is the photo we have seen the results with this uh, medicine. Sandani Mahakasha, as I have told, Sutra Sthana, fourth chapter, ninth sloka, ninth gana is there. Sandani, so Madhuka, Madhu Parni, Krishna Parni, Ambashtaki, Samanga, these all are uh, binding agents in the our body. It will uh, bind the broken things. It doesn't mean only in uh, bone only you should use. You use your yukti wherever you find uh, suitable. You can use. to have full we have all the freedom our acharya has given freedom to us we just we should know principle then we can do anything uh, largely it is a uh, kashayas yes so wound healing tissue building regenerates helpful in fracture dislocation arthritis regeneration of joint etc charan kota nahi again uh, it contains pallataka one of my favorite medicine i use uh, too much this is a siddha medicine by skm siddha it it has only one ingredient that is pallataka and media is cow ghee so i think 94% is cow ghee in this uh, and 4 or 4 to 6% is siddha pallataka so those who are worried about pallataka should use this because it has the pitta balancing dravya with pallataka that is cow ghee and uh, cow milk it is a balanced uh, formulation skin disease leprosy cough asthma anywhere we have cough or sotas avrodha we can use pallataka in charak samhita uh, chikitsa sthana uh, rasayan uh, diya hai pallataka quality is being told charaka says there is a no cough is the disease in the whole world that cannot be treated with pallataka so that much importance acharya charaka has given to this pallataka in the cough is the disease caused by the cough dosha and disease caused by the sotas avrodha that ends the presentation trifala gulu is to use in mild inflamed appendix yes yeah. see appendix actually doesn't require any medicine whenever you get the appendix just advise patient to do the 7 days langana langana means patient has to stop all the diet only whenever he feels good appetite that time he should take boiled green gram or boiled green gram water for 7 days he or she should take this only so you will get uh, amazing results in uh, appendicitis in, in the mucor mycosis treatment you have done a lot of uh, you know you did lot of dhumapana etc why did you not do it here one of my guru told me that whenever we see the patient there must be a clear cut race in our mind uh, race of what race of formulation chitrakadi vati arogya vardhani vati trifala gugulu should do the race in our mind and those who come first we should give to the patient we should not uh, think why uh, so whatever come in our mind while seeing the patient that is the pakka treatment for that patient but for that we must read the book then only the yoga can start race in our mind 
sir you spoke about uh, appendix and you spoke about langana therapy with moong water or green gram so the green gram can be consumed like regular dal or i mean how should one consume moong and green gram ah uh, see when you see the read the charak samhita sutra sthana 445 5th chapter there is a nitya sevaniya dravya charak has mentioned that could be taken uh, for, for a daily basis in that uh, mukta is being told for taking daily means green gram we can take uh, daily till the day we we die we can take uh, green gram there is uh, no restriction i think it is clear usually it is cooked and taken uh, ah, it should it should not be raw and one more important thing it should not be sprouted because nowadays uh, modern fashionable to eat uh, sprouted uh, but yes. it is uh, prohibited in ayurveda it increase the vayu dosha it is called viruddha dhanya correct so can we consume green gram like the way we consume dal at our home the way regular dal should be yeah i consume dal like that only you said green gram water so you just uh, boil the green gram and uh-huh. the water water we should uh, drink yes but do you can we add some spices to the water or no use a ginger powder trikatu powder ingwa structure and you can use dadima structure and you can use okay so even for the appendicitis so moong moong dal ka pani can be ah, can that, just use yes. some basic spices and give it that's it right ah, you have to give the rest to the whole uh, intestine for 7 days so inflammation will automatically come down no okay. antibiotic no painkiller nothing will require last question before we go is like uh, these are like serious cases and can be life threatening also uh, in in some cases if the treatment goes wrong uh, so what do you tell the patient like i mean how do you get the courage to take this cases actually when patient come to my clinic there will be already one or two patient critical case they will be sitting and they will be discussing oh what you are having they will tell oh i was admitted and this uh, ayurvedic medicine worked for me and uh, maximum patient i got referred uh, from a uh, higher center so allopathic doctor also even ent surgeon neurosurgeon also referring patient so they already have pre mind set set up before uh, meeting me so i need not to work more on getting them confidence about uh, means uh, this ayurveda and like that uh, thank you urmit and uh, there is a question on why sprouted things are not recommended ah it is there the, you read uh, charak samhita sutra sthana i think 26th or 27th chapter it is called viruddha dhanya it is a gramya ahara it is there in kapha uh, i mean uh, prameha nidana and pushta nidana you read nidan sthana 7th chapter in uh, majority of this is nidana you will find this uh, viruddha dhanya especially pushta and prameha basic reason is it, it is uh, it it disturbs the agni meaning it is agni mandya kara and not suitable yeah okay. so one more thing i would like to tell uh, recent uh, right as of today i am treating two case of confirmed swine flu h1n1 both on ventilator and both are showing amazing results with ayurvedic medicine so maybe we'll be discussing this two case of confirm h1n1 showing significant improvement with ayurvedic medicine so maybe once they are uh, completely out we will be taking that case okay so we'll end the session here thank you everyone uh, everyone for uh, interesting questions and on behalf of us all of us students uh, a big thank you for dr vidnikar